the opportunity for being the first presentation today is really exciting. Um, my name is Marco, and I'm working in the work package number four of the Spin project, um, particularly with the topic number 4.2, which is nonlinear seismology met structural health monitoring. And today I'm going to talk about vibration based methodologies. But first, I would like to take a few minutes of this presentation to explain just a bit about what is structural health monitoring. And this is the part of the uh, science and engineering devoted to assess the integrity, health, and maintenance of civil structures over the time. And this is the result of the collaboration between three different areas, mainly. They are civil engineering, structural engineering, seismology, uh, but most specifically, earthquake engineering. And these three areas work together in the development of non-destructive and vibration-based methodologies to predict uh, failures in civil structures and extend their lifespan by retrofitting if, if possible. But just considering that all the structures have a design uh, life. Uh, why uh, SHM is uh, challenging in some manner? Well. First, because most real-world systems are complex geometrically. And as an example, uh, you can see in this figure, this one, is the Somaya Museum in Mexico City. Uh, it's a really complex uh, civil structure, geometrically talking, and at some point it's gonna be kind of challenging try to deploy a seismic, uh, sorry, a seismic deployment in this, uh, in this building. Uh, the second point is that the operational and environmental variability of the structures. Uh, here, well, basically we cannot stop the operational activities of the civil structure uh, yeah, to perform some seismic deployments or uh, health structure assessment. Um, uh, in this point, it is important to uh, have uh, reference structures in order to yeah, uh, perform some uh, studies over there. And the third one is that we are basically working in different uh, scales, in time and in space, uh, because uh, yeah, the damage, initiation, and evolution is associated with different uh, scales. So the structural health assessment can be performed at different scales. Let's talk in terms of frequency domain. Um, at low frequencies, we can perform model analysis uh, considering the whole civil structure. As an example, let's uh, take this uh, high-rise building, and if we assume that the external forces are applied to this building in a slow manner, then we can use classical linear approaches, uh, where we can add as many degrees of freedom as, as we want, vertical and horizontal, as well as rotational uh, motions. And uh, thanks to the development in the computational science, nowadays we are able to use uh, more sophisticated models that can be solved by numerical approaches such as uh, finite element. But it is important uh, to say that many of these softwares in the market are still considering linear behavior uh, in the whole system. If we move further in the frequency domain, we can perform more methodologies. But first, I forget this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the result of the model analysis is basically uh, the dynamical behavior of the structure. Uh, and this uh, dynamical behavior can be uh, represented for the modal frequencies, the modal uh, damping, and the modal shapes of the building. Now, if we move further in the frequency domain, we can perform uh, methodologies such as changes in velocity wave propagation at material level, integrity test in materials, and uh, ultrasound imaging. The main purpose of this project is just focused in changes in the velocity wave propagation oh. and integrity test materials. I would like to take advantage of the gradient measurements and I'm going to collaborate with many projects in this uh, spin project. Um, I am presenting today uh, for this workshop some results about vibration based methodologies in a, a reference structure under different stress conditions. Um, yeah, the, the history of the stress is 
uh, shown here. And of course, if you're interested, you're more than welcome to come by my poster and, and uh, see many results that I, I can show you. So, thank you.